Derek Kenway made his debut for Hampshire in 1997 and scored over 4,000 first class runs up until his release in 2005. Once touted as a future England cricketer, unfortunately Kenway's run has dried up. So instead of being here at the GS Bowl, I'm here at Botley Roofing to see if Derek harbours any regrets about his past career. So I'm here with uh, Derek Kenway, ex Hampshire batsman and Hampshire cricketer. So Derek, um, can you remember your uh, county championship debut in 1997? Sort of, how do you feel? Were you nervous? Were you excited? And what do you remember most from it? Um, I just remember I was meant to be doing 12th man duties, and um, before the game, John Stevenson, who was captain at the time, got hit in the nets, and and um, he he had to pull out the game. So the, first, the second team were away. I was, it was my first year on the star, so I was a long way down the pecking order at that time, and uh, I got my opportunity. So there wasn't a lot of time to be nervous, really. All right, so. <laughs> Do you feel you were rushed into it, or were you, were you like sort of in the zone that time? And you 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 were very um, think, up for it. I think when you when you're, well, I was 18. I think it was. And, you know, you you don't really feel have the nerve, the nervousness, and you know it's uh, you know, you want to play cricket, you want to play first class cricket. It's uh, you don't you don't sort of think you're not ready. You just want to get out there and uh, show that you are. So. Okay, so your debut was in um, 1997, and two years later, in 1999, you scored a, a thousand first-class runs in uh, for Hampshire in a season. That was the first and only time. Would you say that was your best season for Hampshire? Yeah, I, 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 it was a good season. Don't get me wrong. We were playing at Northlands Road. The the ground, the pitch was fantastic. You know, it's a it's a ground you should score a thousand runs every year at. Unfortunately, that was my last season at Northlands Road before we moved to um, which is now the Aegeus Bowl. But um, I think probably when I, my second year at, at, at the Rose Bowl was probably the best season. I just got under a thousand runs on a very, very tough wicket. You know, you had to work a lot harder for your runs than you did at, at Northlands Road. Okay, so due to the, the runs you, saw, you scored in the uh, first class season, um, you got onto the ECB Academy Tour in 2001, 2002. What was that like? What was the experience of that? Like? Hard. Yeah, it was, you know, they, they drilled you. It was, um, the training was hard, the, the standard, you know, you're playing with. Some, some incredible cricketers every training every day with, so uh, it was a great experience. Am I right in this? And that tour is sort of the beginning of sort of the fitness regime for the the, the uh, modern cricketer has. Was that sort of was it sort of a um, a progression there, and sort of what new tours are like these days? Absolutely, I think I think probably that changed a lot of first class cricket as well. I think fitness was very much a was was it, it, it was they pushed pushed um you know certain standards of fitness anyway. But I think after the sort of that tour and. And and what what they're looking to achieve and 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 long they want you to have long you know longevity in your career as well. It's um, fitness does help. You know it's a, it was a big push. So on this tour, you were the likes of Ian Bell, Graham Swan, and sort of past greats of the England team as Andrew Strauss, Andrew Flintoff, uh, Steve Harmson, and Simon Jones. What was it like being alongside them? No, good good guys. Like when you play against guys, you know every week and you know in the county season, yeah, you, know, you could play against each other four or five times. It's a uh, you know each other pretty well, and most of those guys I grew up with anyway. So um, it was a, it was good, a great bunch of guys. We nets were a bit lively. There was a few fast bowlers flying around, but it was a, it was a great, great, you know, great time. And uh, I look back on it fondly. Do you still talk to any of those guys now? Yeah, occasionally. Yep, yeah. we still be more email than than anything. Sort of things going flying around, trying to catch up. It's uh, it's difficult, but um, yeah, a lot of the guys doing really well, really well. Okay, so after the, uh, the great season you had in 99 and the uh, academy tour in uh, the winter of 2001, 2002, um, you came very close to leaving Hampshire. So talk us through what happened there. I just, just felt that, you know, the way I played, I was quite an ag aggressive cricketer, you know, I wanted to play my shots, I wanted to score freely. And, and with the pitch at the time still bedding in at the, uh, which was the Rose Bowl, um, it just didn't suit my game. And Nottinghamshire, um, through a few negotiations, um, uh, offered me a, offered me a contract and uh, it was it was very close very close to leaving. So, uh, so you say about uh, Nottinghamshire and also according to reports you uh, had a few uh, contacts with Derbyshire and Sussex, but unfortunately obviously you didn't go there in the end and you stayed at Hampshire. And um, why was this? At that time, um, my mum was battling cancer and I didn't particularly want to be at the other end of the country. I know it's not far. I know it's not like playing in Australia and being ten hours away from each other, but. Um, I just I just wanted to be around, and I'm a big believer in if you don't make it your home county, then you know you know I didn't want to play anywhere else. So, so sitting here now, you don't sort of regret not joining Nottinghamshire or any of the other looking, counties. Looking back, you know, it, it it was an opportunity. You know, I, I do regret not taking up, but um, I'm not one to look at the past. It's uh, 
you know, I, I look fondly on you know the nine years I played at Hampshire, and uh, it was uh, it's, it's something that I'm very proud of. So, so during your time um, at the Rose Bowl, which is now called the the Aegeus Bowl, a lot was made of the uh, poor batting track. Do you think that was the main reason for your sort of your, your runs drying up slightly, or were there any other sort of reasons as well? Um, to be honest, I think I think you can train too hard, um, and you know I was one that if I wasn't scoring runs, I'd, I'd hit more balls, I'd train harder. Um, and, and I think you can end up putting more pressure on yourself that way rather than more constructive practice, you know, doing doing the right things rather than, you know, trying to analyse every part of the game. And, and you know, I, I just think that probably uh, the game evolved and uh, maybe I didn't with it, perhaps. So. OK, so um, in 2005, um, it was the last game for Hampshire against Lancashire, and that was at the uh, GS Bowl, and you, you didn't battle bowl in the game, so... When you're standing out the field, did you think to yourself, you know, my time's up now? Um, no, it's frustrating because at that time, you know, I went from opening the batting. Um, there's a lot of younger players, and, and especially at that time, there was two overseas players as well. So um, you take the rough to smooth. There's times when you know other players will have that happen to them, but uh, but unfortunately, that was that was my time, and uh, and wasn't a particularly great way to finish. But uh, there's a lot of other games where. Uh, well, I, I batted, I bowled, I, I did everything. So uh, it's um, it's not something I uh, I'm too too worried about really. So at the, at the end of that season, uh, summer of 2005, uh, you released. So can you talk us through what sort of happened? Do you um, was it always going to happen, or do you um and ah, you know, was it yes or no maybe, or did you definitely sort of this is the end, you know? To be honest, you know, people say what well, you know, I I I knew and I I I was pretty confident that I was moving on from Hampshire um, at that time, and. I just didn't feel that I, I still, you know, to this day people say, why didn't you go elsewhere, why didn't you play elsewhere? But um, I just lost the love of the game. I think when, when obviously I had a lot of personal things going on with, with my mum being ill and stuff like that, I just didn't want enjoying cricket. And I don't think wherever I went at that stage, I probably would have enjoyed my cricket at that time. But um, but thankfully, with you know, I always had a good job to walk straight into mm -hmm. a company that I've been involved in all my life. So it was very easy transition for me to be honest. So you never thought about going to any other counties in 2005 but were any other counties interested in you? Um, to be honest unless you look you don't know. Yeah. Um, because obviously you know we all had agents and stuff like that and, and it was something that I, I didn't wish him to pursue, pursue to be honest so but um, as I said you know I, I, I felt that it was a good time for me to leave the game and you know I was very fortunate as I said to fall into a, to have a good job to go to and a lot of players who leave who who don't prepare, and thankfully I was. So. Okay, so now you, as you say, you, have, you currently have a job at uh, Botley Roofing uh, locally, um, and you still have club cricket as well. You're currently at Burridge Cricket Club as well. Um, but how much do you miss professional cricket? I mean, what would you miss about it most? I mean, there must be a big difference between club cricket and county cricket. Yeah, I think it's probably more the challenge of it. I think I think is when when you play at a high level and you, and you do drop down a, a few leagues, it's. Uh, tend to get yourself out more than you than someone gets you out whereas uh, the, the challenge of, of playing against the international cricketers is a uh, is a real buzz so um, that's probably the, the thing I miss most really to be honest okay and um, I spoke to um, ex Hampshire keeper Tom Burrows a, a couple of weeks ago about um, his release from Hampshire and he was saying he's moved on absolutely fine but he still keeps in contact with the guys at Hampshire and it was always a, he said it was always a really good atmosphere there and even though leaving he still keeps in touch with everyone um, is it the same sort of thing with you um, I think I'm a sort of a different era to Tom. Um, it's probably only uh, Jimmy Adams and and probably Dimmy who really I played with. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the players who uh, and perhaps sorry perhaps Sean Sean Irvine as well. But um, a lot of little players who are a lot younger than I who were coming through and I never sort of really got to play with and until you play with someone for a season you don't really get to know them and but uh, but I still keep in contact with a few few of the lads and uh, and uh, probably not as much as I should. Okay, um, so you're here at Botley Roofing now, um, and when you're sitting there at your desk, is there an occasional day you think, oh, what could have been, or is it not sort of vested yeah, in your mind anymore? To be honest, you know, I, I, I played over 100 first-class games, played over 101 days. You know, I, I like to think I made it. it. It wasn't the fact that I, I was a nearly man. I, you know, I played a lot of cricket, so it's, it's not something that I would have been really came to mind. I don't think I was probably good enough to make that next step up to international cricket, but... Um, but no, you know, I look back fondly on what I've done, and you know, you know, I'm very proud of it. So.
Okay, so take yourself for a second back to 2001. Is there anything you have done differently? Uh, 2001. Um, no, not really. I, you know, I've, I think I trained hard. I I did as much as I could, the right things I could, and you know, sometimes things go your way, and other, other times they don't. But um, you know, there's times when you feel in great touch and you keep nicking it behind. You know, it's <laughs> it's um it's a sport which uh, can bite you on the bum at times, and you know, no matter what you do, it's uh, luck's very important. Very important. So overall, throughout your entire career at Hampshire, um, what were your highlights? Um, oh, crikey, I think I think getting promoted from Division Two, Division One, was which was a great season. We had a really good side. Um, you know, everyone stayed fit, which I think is very important. Um, that's probably one of the highlights. Um, getting selected on the England tour was a uh, was a big buzz. Um, the first ever sort of England Day Academy tour. Um, yeah, that was that was great. You know, playing against Australia A eh, and absolutely destroying him which was uh, was good fun but um yeah but, you know i think probably when it getting like, getting promoted that county season was was a big thing really big thing all right okay so just lastly if the phone rang right now it said Derek Kenway big injury crisis at hampshire could you answer the call i'm probably more injured than the other <laughs> players there. but um no no probably not definitely not it's uh, yeah i'm certainly a long way off fitness and i than <laughs> what they are and uh, Four days of cricket on a, on a trot would uh, would certainly take its toll. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, Derek. No Thank problem. you very much. Thank you.